Hello everyone, myself Dr. Rupali Patil, associated with Gokhale Education Society, Sir Dr. M.S. Gosavi College of Pharmaceutical Education and Research. In this International FDP on Environment and Sustainability, OE4BW, I am presenting a video on pharmaceutical waste management. I prepared week 1 video and week 2 video based on Pharmaceutical West and Green Pharmacy respectively. Video outcomes of this video, week 4 video are after learning through video, students will realize different ISO certifications associated with Pharmaceutical West Management to understand sources of Pharmaceutical West and healthcare's carbon footprints. They will know Biomedical West Management rules, flow chart and segregation. They will also learn methodology and software for pharmaceutical waste management. There are three ISO systems associated with pharmaceutical waste management. The first one, 14001-2015, which is engaging in environmental management. It is used to define the process of managing pharmaceutical waste at the place of its generation except in household. Second system 9001-2018 deals with quality management system QMS. It helps to streamline the process, reduce errors, free up valuable management time and improve internal communications. While the third system that is 45001, it deals with occupational health and safety and is for occupational health and safety management which provides organizations with a solution to better manage health and safety risk while reducing associated tasks. The sources of pharmaceutical waste, there are four sources mainly. First one, the waste which is generated during the manufacture. Second, the waste past recommended shelf life. The third one, discarded due to contaminated packaging. And fourth one, which is no longer required by the public. Here is a carbon footprint for the health cares. 9% that is commission, 13% by the travel, 17% carbon footprint is by building energy use and the maximum one that is 61% that is procured and it may be associated with the pharmaceuticals. There are five models which are dealing with the pharmaceutical waste management. The first one model which uses automatic sorting device. The second one is a data applied to dispensing software. The third one, the stickers which are applied manually. Fourth one, centralizing segregation. And fifth one, managing all drug waste as hazardous materials. Here are certain rules management rules for the biomedical waste which are set in 2016 which gives or which segregates the waste material using four colors yellow, orange, white and blue. Yellow color is given to the human or animal anatomical waste, soil waste, expired medicines, chemical waste, body fluid and clinical waste. Secondly, orange color is for contaminated waste like plastic bag, bottle, pipes or containers. Third, white color is for scalpels, blades, needles, syringes including sharp metal, mostly the surgical metal. And fourthly, the blue color that is for broken glassware or metallic body implants. Now, how this flowchart it works for the biomedical waste? The first, the generator for biomedical waste is hospital, which gives waste water to ATP for reusing. Or hospitals, they are responsible for segregation of the waste material in-house, that is collection, segregation, packaging in color-coded poly bags. Then they uh, move the segregated material to the common storage point at the hospitals that gets transported at approved spatial vehicles and 
unloading and temperature storage at CBWTF that occurs and that material then undergoes treatment, maybe incineration, autoclaving, shredding, etc. And that results into disposal, maybe recycling and landfilling. What are they? That we'll see in next slide. These are five ways how the biomedical waste that can be segregated into five different colored dustbins or these colors which are responsible for identification of this waste material. For example, green color waste, the color green that indicates secured landfilling of this waste material. Red color that is indicative for syringes, gloves and plastic waste. Yellow color is for soil or infected waste and blue color is for the glass wares. Then these are some methodologies for pharmaceutical waste management including incineration, autoclaving, microwaving, chemical disinfection, deep burial, secure landfilling, waste immobilization in terms of encapsulation or in uh, inertialization and lastly sewa that may be used for disposal. These are some hazardous waste management strategies. Three are there. Waste minimization by reusing the uh, second hand things, repairing and then using and reduction in the use of disposables. Second method that is reuse which is used for more than one occasion maybe for same or different purposes and recycling is for treatment or reprocessing of the biomedicals. And mainly we use the software for waste management that is trucks all IT which is complete operational and financial management solution for waste and recycling. Thank you. Go green, be green.